I think it's a perfect essential. The people are so effective in this movie. They aren't really actors. They were from freak shows. And you also wonder how they were, how they felt when they were so kind of rejected at the studio commissary and everything because they were different than Norma Shear sitting at that table or Joan Crawford at that table. Yeah, it's so interesting. When we were making E.T., um, we worked with this gentleman. His name was Pat Bylon, and he was known as the world's smallest man. He was 18 inches tall. Um, and, uh, and we just... We loved him. As kids, he was our friends. And um, two of the um, kids who worked in the ET suits, um, a boy and a girl, both, um, you know, only had, they, they were missing their legs and they walked on their hands. Um, and we would all be in the commissary with them. Um, and as kids, and they were, you know, treated the exact opposite of that in 1982. It was so they were treated well. Absolutely. It was a completely different set of circumstances at mm. that time. The uh, cinematography by, I think, Merritt Gerstad, I believe his name was. A not familiar name to me, but I think that was pretty terrific because it added such atmosphere to this movie. Uh, the shadows and the light. And particularly interesting because it's not the kind of movie that MGM ever made. You know, they weren't famous for film noir or, uh, or mysteries and all of that. They made an occasional one, but the movies like Gaslight and Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, you know, certainly stood out from the crowd. Yep. They, they were all for glamour and everything like that. And to, to be able to create a movie like that with that kind of atmosphere, I think is kind of amazing. Yeah. Some things to be said for those people that dare to do something different. Because that's what risks. pushes the envelopes, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, let's move on. Take a look right now at The Essential We Have coming up next week. The Bride of Frankenstein, 1935. This is one of the great films of James Whale, the director. The hair is so incredibly iconic. The way they use lighting to create this atmosphere is amazing. The style of this film is so cool and innovative for 1935. The Bride of Frankenstein. That's next Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern. You can find out more at TCM.com. Thanks for joining us for The Essentials. Tonight on Turner Classic Movies, our evening of films directed by Todd Browning lingers into the night with Mark of the Vampire. Then Browning will give you a shrinking feeling in The Devil Doll. And Todd mixes magic mystery and a few miracles for sale. Now you're